Hello! Welcome to Laura's World. I'm Laura and I'm very excited to share some small business purchases. Now, whenever I'm able, I always try to support small businesses, especially women-owned, black-owned, Hispanic-owned um, businesses that emerge out of terrible situations such as um, you know, abusive things I mean there's there's one company I bought some things from that was founded by a woman who got out of a domestic situation but I saw the most amazing scrunchies handmade homemade handmade scrunchies and other fabric products from TikTok it just randomly showed up on my for you page and I was like Okay, I need to get on on this. And I'm glad I did. But first, let's do a lippy. Because why not? Alright, so I have my little foldable LED mirror thing sitting here so I can try to try to see what I'm doing. Alright. Now to apply a little bit of lipstick. I'm always so careful on this side just because that's like the uneven side. There's a reason this lip is called Comfy Matte. It's comfy. <laughs> and it's matte. Ooh, who'd have thunk? It's coming along. It's coming. I might have to touch up the liner, but... Now with this tinted gloss situation. It could be, I don't know, is this a liquid lipstick? I forgot. But it has, did I just dot my nose? Okay. It smells a lot like... Like the, the balmy liquid lipsticks, but they were like a paste from the 90s. Anybody remember 90s, 2000s? And uh, it just had kind of like a sweet, I don't know how to describe it, but it was a definite, definite 90s, 2000s thing. All right. Still got to work on liner. Maybe the shade was a little dark. I'm okay with this. I'm okay. Now, let's get into this shipment. This bad boy comes from Love Willow. They're on um, TikTok. And uh, I'll look up the name for sure, but the company's called Love Willow. And they are based out of Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And it's, uh, I didn't realize it, but um, the money that the woman who owns this business, who makes all the stuff, earns from this business goes to obviously help with bills and stuff, but I didn't know that her husband is actually type 1 diabetic. So finding out that me making this um, purchase helped them to pay some of his medical bills, huge. Huge. And it made me happy to help out a fellow type 1. That's all I'm saying. So because, you know, I don't just buy one or two things, I buy like a bunch of things. Came in a pretty sizable box as I showed you. Um, box might be a little large for my space right now. So I'm going to do the best I can to showcase everything. i got to find a place to put the box, but let's get into it. So to start, I'm a fan of the paper, pink and white stripe, and there's a... Pink glitter paper. Be thrifty, save your paper. But anyway, I'm a big fan. Alright, so I'm going to start with the non-hair, non-scrunchy stuff. Because, yeah, she makes more than just scrunchies and headbands and head wraps. Well, we know that I can't do head wraps because my head is weird. Anyway, alright, so I got a few uh, bandanas for Maisie. There's a Halloween theme. It looks like mummies, but guess what? It's reversible and it's ghosts. Precious. Okay. Uh, then we have sloths. 
and foxes. I love these foxes with the ties and the glasses. It's so cute. And then the third one. Now we all in this house, we love fruit in this household, uh, especially Maisie. And today she had frozen peaches. Mm, scarfed them up. She eats ice cubes on the regular, but it was nice to have something flavorful that was frozen today, I think. But so we have lemons and strawberries, which we're not feeding her lemons, although that'd be really funny. She'd probably not enjoy it, but she definitely loves her strawberries. So yay. Now these, as can be seen on the label, are reusable paper towels. And there is her company. Um, I understand the concept because flannel is one of those fabrics, the more you wet it and wash it, the more absorbent it becomes, like chamois. Um, there we go. And they're kind of folded together that when you take one out, the next one is ready to go. And they are, I'll, I'll take one out and put it back. You know, this is the size. Obviously, you know, everybody knows I'm not the biggest um, Chinese takeout fan. Um, I don't know. I just, I like some of it. Like sesame noodles are my jam. And I think it's just because the veg, there's a lot of vegetables in Chinese food and I'm terrible. I'm terrible. I know I'm terrible. I need to eat my vegetables and I don't. But anyway, I thought this was adorable and my husband and my mother love Chinese food. So here we have double-sided reusable recyclable paper towels so I'm excited to start implementing these in the kitchen because not only are paper towels expensive they're like high environment all right let's see if I can roll this up properly take that as a maybe and I get the the little cap grouper thing back on probably not We'll call that a marginal success. All right, so we'll start with the, uh, I'll just start picking. I tried to divide them by type, but that's not really working out. So I'm just gonna, we'll start. So we have this blue linen scrunchie with watermelons, probably like a medium band, uh, what do you call it? Elastic inside. And I love that she sews her tag into everything that she makes that's very important you need your calling card you know and it's it's placement advertising because let's say I'm like uh, out somewhere and I have it in my hair and the tag is sticking up well if someone wants or sees oh wow look it's it's watermelons well now they know who made it and then we have another linen it's pale pink with gold polka dots you can see that Sort of. There we go. And again, probably a, a medium-ish elastic. Totally my color. I had to. It's bold, it's brash, it's beautiful. A bright blue linen puppy dog scrunchie. I couldn't find anybody on here that looked like Maisie. Um... Let me look again, I don't know. I see, I see, you know, you, typically the smaller breeds are on here. These are, these are puppies though. These are all puppies. Um, yeah, the Dachshund, the Westie, the Lab. So cute. Anyway, so, yep, here you can see the Dalmatians. a bulldog and then a golden so cute uh, this one is a, the fabric is it's a linen but it's a little stiffer I think because it's coated in um, something that's it's shimmery but it's not coming off shimmery so I don't know if you can kind of make that out oh yes and I did do my nails in 
the pink one. I got rid of the orange and we went to, what shade is this? Influencer. These, these colors are kind of, I don't know how to describe them. They're not like muted, but they're a little, they're just different. They're different. The shades are, the hues are a little muted, we'll say. But as always, um, my nails look like a two-year-old did them. Anyway, they're all scuffed up and damaged and like I just did them. So these will last for another day before they start getting returned. Like just absolutely ri ridiculous. Oh, and I found my old nail polish remover. It's from Target. Strengthening nail polish remover compared to Q-Tech strengthening for natural nails. Yeah. Soak it in a tissue. I don't even use cotton pads. I just use a tissue. One tissue does my whole hand. Or both hands, rather. Now, these next two um, are... I'm trying to place what kind of textile it is. They're almost like wispy cotton. They're much softer than the ones that I just showed with a little more fabric around it, but still kind of a medium-sized elastic. So this first one, you can see it is definitely puffier and softer. This guy's kind of like a flower and whatnot scene going on. Did I just see a bird or am I making that up? Just kidding, made that up. But it's, it's colorful flowers on a cream kind of background. And then this one is super light and super wispy. Barely even makes a sound. And it's like, uh, I don't know, it, it's almost like uh, paper linen. Is, does that make sense? Uh, whatever this is called, it's on the tip of my tongue. But anyway, it's um, got some greenage on it. It's a very, very pale sage kind of very poofy scrunchie. This one, again, it's very, it's softer. It's poofy. It, I, it might be rayon. It reminds me of uh, this rayon skirt that I had that was supposed to be dry clean only, but I kept pressing my luck and washing it in the washing machine. And then eventually the fabric just got so stiff and, and awkward. It just dry clean to dry clean only clothes, please. Anyway, so this is another darker sage with some flower patterns on it. Now these next two scrunchies almost remind me of like a soft t-shirt, not like a cotton t-shirt, but like a soft t-shirt. I don't know how to describe it. Maybe bordering on LuLaRoe, but eh, dirty word, dirty word. Um, but it's just, it's very soft and very stretchy. They all seem to have the medium size elastics in them. This is kind of a dusty rose pale pink color. I'm not really sure how it's coming across on here. Looks kind of tan, but it's not. It's dusty rose pale pink. It's soft. <laughs> They're all soft. And then this one, strawberries. It's the same kind of material, um, ribbed, stretchy cotton. It's probably cotton and uh, it's like a cotton nylon spandex kind of thing. Cause it just, it, it the fabric itself gives. But it's strawberries on a bright kind of pale pink background and it's so cute and it's so soft now this is the most silken of scrunchies in the box as you can see it's very shiny very silken um with kind of like pinky purple petal pattern going on here pinky purple petal pattern pinky purple pe 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 nope not even gonna try. My father used to be able to do tongue twisters like crazy. Me? No. <laughs> my tongue gets in my own way. <laughs> yeah, this is the definitely the softest and most satiny silk like scrunchie that I have. 
This next one, I knew when I put it in my cart, I was probably going to wind up paying for it. And I don't mean financially. But it's so pretty. You know why I'm holding it like this? Can you see? See all that? Lovely glitter. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, it's all over everything. <laughs> I love it. Don't get me wrong, I love it. And you know I'm going to wear it because I don't mind having glitter in my hair. Um, it's a very plush cotton material. and Oh my goodness, glitter. Raining down glitter everywhere. And um, it's just... It's almost... It's not velour, but it's almost like velour. It just has a different kind of texture, I think, because of the sparkles on it. But, oh, this is so funny. I might have to take it out and shake it for... 20 minutes, but I don't care. It sparkles and it's soft and it's floofy and it's mine. Now these last two scrunchies are, um, I don't, I don't know how to put it. The squishiest things I've ever seen in my life. When I found them in the box, I went, <gasps> I mean, I knew what I ordered, but I didn't realize how big and floofy. So that's definitely a large elastic inside there. I don't know. She might be using the same size and everything. I don't... Mm, this one has a little more give. I'm going to say this is more like a medium to large elastic inside. But look. Look at the volume of fabric. This is, again, almost like a uh, uh, cotton poly blend shirt material ribbed in a again sage color but look, oh my god there's just so much material it's so big and so fluffy and squishy like you could use it as a stuffed animal it's so <laughs> i can't i can't wait to try this this thing's gonna be bigger than my hair <laughs> now the granddaddy grandmother head honcho of all scrunchies i've ever seen in my life look at this thing this is definitely a large elastic um it's got kind of like a chain like a cable knit sweater pattern going on it does it feels like a very soft like late fall early winter kind of sweater like not super bulky i mean it, it is kind of bulky but it the, the fabric itself is a little thinner and just so soft Look at this thing! Look at this thing! I love it! It's so soft and squishy! I just... how... Look at this thing! <laughs> I love it! I absolutely love it! I'm just worried about how secure it is on my hair because my hair is so thin and it's so big and floofy but oh my god I love it is it too much probably is it me absolutely and now with my order I did get a couple of extra oh wait no lies I almost forgot to show I got three pairs of dog pair earrings. Okay, so I got two. Let's see. Dog print. You see the dog paws? I got two kind of opalescent and one black sparkle. I figure if I ever take these gauges out of my ears, I can just, you know, pearl, black, pearl. If they're a little bit big for my for my ears, then I can just kind of like mix it up and alternate it, but I couldn't pass it up. I couldn't. I couldn't pass it up. These are so pretty. Again, they're handmade by Love Willow. Come on. Please show them. There we are. Look how pretty. Okay, now for the goodies. Um, I had never seen something like this, but you know what? In terms of practicality, this is awesome. 
it's a scrunchie. It's like a, a medium skinny scrunchie in a shiny gold kind of, um, I don't know, what, what would you call it? What kind of, it, it's linen, but it's like uh, more nylon. But look at this. It's clamped. It's a keychain. <laughs> Never go without. Attach it to your keys and one day if your hair is just going pfft. There you go. Nice. I also got two really cute barrettes as a gift. One is Halloween themed. See, it has pumpkins and bats and spiders and eek and boo. It's um, like a traditional metal snap hair clip. If you can see that. And yeah, it would just go up into the hair. And then I got the other one I got is dinosaurs in kind of a scalloped cut pattern. Come on. There we are. Very cute. Again, with the metal snap hair clip. But wait, there's more. On top of all that, I also got a little surprise grab bag. Thank you for supporting my business. You got it. Okay. Let's it up and see what we got. Got two bonus scrunchies. Okay, they're both um, a stiffer kind of linen. One has kind of like late summer fall vibe flowers. The yellow background. Oh look, strawberries. Is that strawberries and cherries? Strawberries and cherries. Mm, right up my alley. Maisie's too, but maybe she won't see it and try to eat it. <laughs> and the other one, just in time for Halloween. It's the mystical cat. Meow. It's the mystical black cat on an orange background. That's, that's impressive. That's an impressive amount of freebies. So yeah, I can't wait to get into these scrunchies. I mean, this one is, I'm like, come on, there we are. I'm like loving it. I'm afraid of it falling out of my head though, because my thin hair, but <laughs> I love it. Uh, I am gonna have to get more pegs because I realized this is kind of a large collection of scrunchies and um, I'm out of space on the pegs. So I'm gonna have to find temporary housing for the scrunchies for the time being and then when I get more of the pegs off of Amazon then they get hung up. So on the personal front, Saturday evening I got to go see Ringo Starr and his all-star band. Oh my goodness. You know what? I was afraid uh, to compare the Paul McCartney concert to the Ringo Starr concert, but I wouldn't do that because it was two completely different experiences. Like, I, I really can't compare the two because you have Paul McCartney, the legend, who really put on quite a show. He did story time. There was a lot of theatrics and pictures and of course when they did live and let die the fireworks and pyrotechnics and all of that but then Ringo it was a completely different experience it was like a two-hour jam session legit it was like a two-hour jam session I mean they had Edgar Winter I don't know how old that dude is but man he still had it and then they had one of the guitarists from Toto a uh, guy from Average right band. Who oh, else? Oh, they had um, Men at Work. One of the guitars from Men at Work. You know, when it come from the land down under. <laughs> and uh, I'm not 100% sure about the other drummer. Yes, Ringo is a drummer, but he had another drummer there because he wasn't playing the whole time. He's spry for an 82 year old. He was jumping around, he was dancing. I mean, he only has one dance move where he just kind of bops back and forth. Which is kind of funny because he's the percussionist, he's the drummer. Drummers usually have a little more soul because they're the backbone of the band, they keep the beat. But 
yeah, he just kind of did his little bop, and there were just, it was all hits. It was all hits all night. And, of course, Ringo did some old stuff from the Beatles days that he was allowed to. He wasn't copyright reasons. He couldn't do more than, uh, let's see, he did Act Naturally, uh, Boys. I'm sorry, I'm drawing a blank. It was, it was a night. Um, he did a couple of his own hits, like It, it Don't Get Easy, um, or It Ain't Easy. It Ain't Easy? I, I sound ignorant. Of course, he did photographs. Uh, then he did um, Sgt. Pe did he? No, he couldn't do Sgt. Peppers. They started Sgt. Peppers. He's like, no, 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 we can't do that. Called himself Billy Shears, though, which was neat. Um, Octopus's Garden, Yellow Submarine, you know. Typical Ringo stuff, but mixed in with the other artists doing songs from their bands. I mean, as a musician who has a couple of songs that are always requested and it's just like I'm sick and tired of playing them, but I play them because they're requested. I often look at these guys on stage who have been doing this for like decades and either they're very good actors or they, they understand what brings in the money because I can't imagine singing Octopus's Garden as being like the highlight of the night because this, this man has been singing this song forever and you know it's gotta get old he I mean he could barely carry a tune in a bucket when he was younger and he still is the same but I mean he was there he was present he was there and it was a good time so I am super lucky, super fortunate, blessed, whatever you want to call me, that I got to see two Beatles, two living legends, within three months. I made it happen. And I'm upset that I never got to see George. I would never have been... That's going to give away my age, isn't it? I would not have been able to see John put it at that. I would not have been able to see John in my lifetime, but I would have been able to see George and it just didn't happen because he was either like big, big, big tours, not doing tours, or popping up with the traveling Woolberries. So for the sniff report, should I start calling it that? The sniff report? Today's scent. Scent of the day. Scent du jour. The English Laundry Notting Hill Femme. It's flowery, it's a little bit warm, but not super warm, sweet, kind of has like a little vanilla going on, I think. I was hesitant because on first sniff, I was like, oh, that is strong and unpleasant to my nose. But once it got on my skin, I was like, oh, different story completely. So spritz and spritz. I remember, don't rub them together because it changes the chemistry. And also... Um, fun note, when you rub your wrists together like that, or you rub it into other parts of your body, you're eliminating the top notes. You're like rubbing away the top notes. So. Just a few spritzes. I mean, I've been using it for two days now, and it was probably here. I don't know. I'm bad at judging, but you know, I, I'm not going through it too, too quick. I still say I'm more of a fan of the rollerball variety because you can place it directly where you want it to go. Whereas with the spritz, like, my aim is always off. I'll, like, think I'm getting here and I'm actually spraying here. Like, it's ridiculous, but... Hmm. It's, it's different for me. I probably say that about every perfume because, I mean, everything is different to me. I have not been wearing perfume until recently or I wore some when I was a kid but like mm -mm, we're not gonna go there I may have briefly touched upon my Instagram slash simstagram account like I have an Instagram that I talk about here and there and I just post random things about me my life my baby Maisie some family stuff holidays makeup um 
Not a lot of skincare, believe it or not. Most, mostly makeup I put over there. But, I mean, I haven't been doing much lately. And I just posted about the Ringo Starr concert. But my Simstagram account, I have a decent following. I had, I used to have over 2,600, but I started weeding out ghost accounts or accounts that haven't logged in in a while, haven't made any posts, and haven't interacted. Um, I'm not one that's all like hung up on the algorithm per se. I used to be. Oh my god, I used to be militant about, oh my god, who unfollowed me? And I was just totally not worth your time. I learned the hard way. It's just totally not your worth your time to worry about that kind of shit. It's like, if people want to read your story, they're going to read your story. They're going to subscribe or follow you. They're going to support you. It's it is what it is, basically. I hate that saying, but it is what it is. So today I go to log in um, because I'm in a bunch of royal group chats because basically my story is about vampire royalty. We'll just leave it at that. But I go to log into my account and I keep getting pop-up notifications saying that my actions are limited. And I'm like, you know, that's usually if you do excessive liking or excessive commenting, but I didn't do any of that. All I did was log in. It's been going on all day. So I went to one of my uh, Discord servers to like complain. We have a scream channel or a complaint channel in there. I went in and I'm like, Bleh! about the situation. And they're like, oh, it sounds like you got like and comment banned. And I'm like, but why? So they're like, oh, just report it. Try to email them. And I'm like, yeah, we really know that Instagram really does the right and fair thing. Um, footnote. I'll get into it at some point. But there was a very huge, dramatic, traumatic blow up over something that shouldn't have happened. And... A couple other things happen to people in the community because people on the internet are wild. They're just, they let their nasty flag fly and it's ridiculous. Um, but no matter how many reports were made, Instagram did nothing about it. And there was like threats. Well, I'm not going to get into it right now, but anyway. So I jokingly was like, why bother? Instagram doesn't do anything right. So oopsies. Now I have like 37 messages that I can't see. I'm involved in a bunch of royal collabs, collaborations with other accounts where I send my sims to them to participate in their story and their posts. It's a neat community. It's a really interesting community to be involved in. Uh, I've been learning a lot about the technological side. I've been dabbling in Blender software to make my 2D pixels look 3D. I've done a couple. Um, I need a lot of work. Like I'm not, I'm not an animator. I'm not an artist in that nature. So it's like I, I try. And what comes out, people like what comes out. I mean, it, I like I said, I have a, a decent following for uh, a a fictional scenario. So yeah, I emailed and I should, my phone has a thing where if you shake it, you can report a problem. And I reported the problem and this was like, I don't know, 10 hours ago and I went to check and it's still unblocked. I can't do anything. I can't post. I can't comment. I can't like. I can't even view other stories. And I definitely can't get into my inbox, so. Bummer. So I was talking to my husband briefly before I came in here to do this video and... Um, you know, every once in a while he'll comment and be like, Ooh, what, what are you wearing today? That's a new smell. Yeah, almost every day I'm trying something new. And I said to him, I kind of wish that I had gotten into perfumes sooner. Or at least not given up on them you know, when I was a teenager. And he's like, why? What's, what's the big deal? I mean, you have asthma and allergies. Uh, it's true. A lot of scents bother me. But like I said, I researched ingredient lists and... Basically, 99% of what I have is fine. I have had a reaction to a couple of them. And I know then it's just not for me or I need to dial it down or tone it back or something. But, um, sorry, just looking at something. Anyway, um, yeah, so I said, I, I'm, you know, some of these smells, especially the, 
like, I gotta say, like, the fruity kind of... Even like this one. Not super fruity, but it's, it's, it's sweet and flowery kind of... They help uplift the mood. And... No, it's not like a cure for depression or anything of that nature, or bipolar, or PTSD, or whatever else is going on. Um, it it does, at least in a temporary sense, uplift the mood a little bit. Like I felt a little bit of my anxiety melt away after I spritzed myself earlier with that perfume because it's like it's such a pleasant scent, and pleasant smelling things make you feel pleasant. At least, even if it's only a little bit. Alright, I think that'll do it for this episode of Laura's World. Thank you very much for spending some time with me. Feel free to throw me a like and some comments. Also, if you enjoyed your visit, feel free to subscribe if you'd like. Uh, we're getting real close. I think we're only 30, 31 away from the 100 follower or subscriber mark and if you're not sure what that means it means I'm doing a giveaway so um yep keep keep the views I mean the last couple of videos my views were like down which was like weird I don't know algorithm algorithm silliness but I still had the same like interaction it was funny <laughs> but I'm really grateful for the friends that I'm making and if we haven't talked yet, feel free to drop a comment. I'm always in there having conversations. And yeah, thank you again for supporting my little journey here. Uh, don't forget the scrunchies and other accessories again from a company called Love Willow. And uh, her website, which you can access from her TikTok, but if you want to go directly, it is lovewillowshop.com that's l-o-v-e-w-i-l-l-o-w-s-h-o-p.com and her tiktok let's see what is her at it's literally lovewillow.shop so see her tiktok she does amazing work fabulous products uh, she does some kind of like while she's making stuff, videos of while she's making things, videos of putting boxes together. If you want to watch her assemble my box, she actually posted a video and it's just called uh, Order for Laura. Order for Laura. All right, so definitely give her a shout, give her a follow, browse her products, get some scrunchies, you know. I'm not being sponsored, hashtag not sponsored. Um, but um, I am all about supporting women and small businesses and so yeah uh any other questions comments suggestions whatever let me know in the comments other than that take care of yourselves hydrate put on that spf and have the day that you deserve which i hope is fabulous bye